Would you speak with me? Aye, Casca. Tell us what hath chanced today that hath made Caesar sad. Why, a crown was offered him. And being offered him, he put it by with the back of his hand, thus. And then all the people fell a shouting. What was the second noise for? Why, for that too? They shouted thrice. What was the last cry for? Why, for that too? Was the crown offered him thrice? Aye, Mary was, and he put it by thrice. Each time, gentler than other. And at every putting by, mine honest neighbours shouted. Who offered him the crown? Why, Antony. Tell us the manner of it, gentle Casca. I can as well be hanged as tell the manner of it. It was mere foolery. I did not mark it. I saw Mark Antony offer him a crown. Yet t'was not a crown, neither. T'was one of these coronets. And as I told you, he put it by once. But for all that, to my thinking, he would fain have had it. The history of ancient Rome presented in great detail. How did William Shakespeare, a writer born more than 400 years ago in the heart of rural England, acquire the detailed knowledge to write such a play as this? Julius Caesar. Where did he obtain the facts on which to base the story of Macbeth, a dramatic episode in early Scottish history? How did he learn about King Henry V, a heroic English king? How did he acquire the knowledge to write about Denmark, the setting for Hamlet, or countries as far apart as Italy, the background of Romeo and Juliet, Greece, the setting for A Midsummer Night's Dream, Bohemia, background for The Winter's Tale, Austria, the setting for Measure for Measure. Shakespeare's family lived far from city life in the county of Warwickshire, in the small market town of Stratford-upon-Avon. William's father was a prosperous glover and wool merchant, and in this house in the year 1564, a son was born. 